In this video, we are going to be talking about battery health for your Tesla Model 3. Let's do it. Hey you guys, it's Taylor. This is EV Electric. Today is going to be a really important video for you Model 3 owners. This is going to be about your battery health and just all about kind of info on the battery regarding its health, charging habits and all that. And why I'm making this now is because I just got off the phone with a person who is in the Model 3 battery design production engineering. I don't know exactly, but he was in that before the Model 3 was made. So he told me a bunch of info on how to like keep your battery healthy, protect it, what we should be seeing over X amount of years and stuff like that. So this video is gonna be all about battery health. Let's get into it right now, let's go. This all started when I fully charged my car to 100% and instead of seeing 310 miles like what I used to see, I saw 296 miles. Because my car has such wide tires, it's lowered, it's inefficient, and I'm traveling a long distance, I really want as much as I can get out of my car. And it kind of scared me saying that I'm at 20,000 miles in less than a year and I'm seeing this much battery degradation. So I then posted to the experts on the Facebook group who actually 90% of you guys did do a lot of helpful stuff and it was really good, but it was not all true. We're gonna get into it right now. This information is why is my car charging to 200 whatever miles instead of what it's supposed to? Is my battery degrading after this short amount of time, right? Does that sound like you guys? Well, this is gonna get into it and then we're gonna get into health of your battery and how to keep that health up and how to make your battery last as long as possible and have as much fun as possible. Let's get into that right now. So starting now, 296 miles was what I got on a full charge, really pissed me off. But then at the same time it didn't because he told me that if you are on miles of range, so if I was on 310 miles, that was a huge mistake and I should always be on percent. So that's another thing, always be on percent because that 296 miles of range is based off of my driving habits, temperature, range, efficiency, driving speed. So when I have 296 miles on a full charge, that is actually representing what this car is capable of doing on a full charge and not the battery's health. It has nothing to do with the battery's health. So what he recommended for me to do is to take off those miles and actually put my battery on percent. So he said, if you are on 100%, when you fully charge to 100% and you are at 100%, you're good. Don't even look at miles. That's just gonna scare you, juke you out. It's totally not true. He even mentioned that it was kind of a mistake for Tesla to even put uh, miles of range on there because it is totally astronomical and not true like 100% of the time. And you guys know this, for example, you charge the car up, you drive one mile and you lose three miles. That's not your battery's health. If you're on percent, you're gonna, you're gonna get a lot better of a reading. And he mentioned that if you charge to 100% and you see 100%, disregard the miles, that is perfect. If you charge to 100% and you get 99, 98, something lower than 100%, that is when you have battery degradation. And that's when you need to not be concerned because it's what happens with batteries. So I hope that answers that there. So next thing is he said that the battery should start to show signs of degrading at about seven to eight years. Now, if you drive harder, you're gonna see that a little bit sooner. If you drive softer, you might see that on the later side. If you're seeing it now, you have an issue. Yeah, that's crazy. That blew me away by how insane that was. And he said that is because we keep seeing the battery as a Tesla as one big unit when it's not. It's 7,000 or so little batteries that are all put in there. 
and when they degrade, they all degrade this much, you know, so it's, it's not based off a whole battery degrading like this much. It's actually a tiny, tiny bit. That's why you start seeing degradation at seven to eight years because each individual battery holds so much health, which I find amazing that Tesla did this. They put so much time and effort into these batteries and doing research that it just blew me away the stuff he was talking about. Alrighty, so now this is gonna be kind of the health side and this is gonna be how to keep your battery healthy. Um, the difference between, this is a common one, supercharging and charging at home, there's quite a difference because your car is taking different currents. Um, and this is gonna just be overall health, how to maintain health. This is how to keep your battery as healthy as possible. I was super surprised when I heard this. So he said, no matter how much you drive that day, you should charge your car up to 90% every single day and i told him well what if i just drive around the block he said charge it up to 90 percent every single day this will this may mess with the calibration so to say so you might see less miles like 296 like how i've been seeing it but this is to keep the overall health of your battery it is meant to be charged down and charged back up and that is what he said you're supposed to do. I don't know too much other technical stuff. He also mentioned that every once in a while you want to get your battery under 10% and then charge it back to 10% or back to 90%. And that is so when you charge your car little bits up to 90% every day, you kind of lose calibration. The car doesn't know your driving habits and stuff like that. It can't see how fast you drain your battery and stuff. It won't see your driving habits. So then when you run it all the way down to under 10% and charge it all the way back up, now the car's brain has an idea of your driving habits, efficiency. So then it gives you that estimated range miles number. Hopefully that explains that there. That is how you keep your battery healthy for the long term. So he mentioned if you supercharge your car every single day, like what a small percent, but a lot of people do, um, he said the awesome part about the three is that it's not really bad for the car. Uh, supercharging has been made so healthy for the car that it's not gonna cause too many issues. He did mention though that supercharging charges the battery fast, which is not too bad for the battery, except when you charge fast, heat is bad for the battery. So that heat is gonna cause battery degradation early. Also, he said it is not meant to be charged on DC for a very long time every single day consecutively. So that is why he says charge that car to 90, like what I said before, and then supercharge about five times a month. That's totally healthy. But the battery for the Model 3 was made to charge on AC at home the majority of the time. So keep that in mind when you guys supercharge all the time. So then I asked him and said, how am I supposed to view my trip that I'm going on when I have percent? He said, Use the most underrated thing. You're gonna to wanna to go to your energy uh, chart and you put it on 15 miles and you do average projected range and that should give you a pretty estimated range of how far you can go off that charge. I never use that. I don't think anyone else uses that too much. I always put it on because it looks cool, but that is actually a useful thing. Later down the road, when you have your percent on and you've been charging these habits, if you charge your car to 100% and it only charges up to 99%, way later, by the way, this is gonna be normal and that is gonna be your battery physically degraded. So you guys, I hope this kind of cleared up some stuff I hope that you guys didn't fall for anything that these Facebook or, or thread people are talking about. This is the truth. This is from someone who actually knows what they're talking about. I'm just relaying it to you because honestly, before that, I, have no, I had no idea. But I hope this answers your questions and gets you into some different charging habits. I was surprised when I heard about charged to 90% every single day. So I hope this helps you guys a ton. Be sure to like this video. It took a lot of time of his time and my time to talk with each other and figure this stuff out. So please like this video and share it to everyone else because it's important for everyone to get the max life out of their car and enjoy it as much as you can before you start seeing that degradation. So thank you guys for watching. Stay healthy for your batteries. Charge right, 
turn on those percents and you'll have a great time. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. Like, just do it. It's, it's going to help you. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be an informative time. Just, just, go, subs just go subscribe.